The ASRock 5700 XT Tai Chi OC Plus is the ASRock answer to the new AMD graphics card market, featuring an all metal backplate and a cooling system using three different fans, and of course, a price to match the competition of just 480 US dollars or euros. Again, depending on where you get it from and if there is a sale or rebate going on. The design of this graphics card is certainly unique and it is one of those deals of you either like it very much or you don't. The fan shroud is made entirely from plastic and is painted in two colors to create a contrast that will highlight the three fans installed. Speaking of which, these fans are different in size and design. The outer fans are identical with dark smoked semi-transparent impellers. The center fan is rather simple in design with no fancy impellers or even colors. This fan is semi-transparent for one simple reason, to allow for more light and color from the RGB LEDs to be diffused outside the graphics card and into the system. Something worth talking about when you look at these fans is the now well-known zero RPM feature that will keep all three fans stopped when the graphics card is not being used heavily. This of course is a great feature to see as it will reduce the overall noise emitted by the system and also increase the lifespan of these fans. Once removed, these fans reveal a bit more about the performance of the cooling system found on this particular graphics card. For starters, all three fans are made by Everflow. The outer fans with their fancy impaired design are the model number T129215BU, while the center fan, which is more simplistic in design, is the model number T128015BH. Unfortunately, as is the case with most graphics card fans, neither of these fans can be easily identified to see their technical specifications. Why you ask? It is because often a single model number is used for multiple fan models, so this particular fan model number is found on ASUS graphics cards and also on this ASRock Tai Chi model. This will pose issues if the fan break and you need to buy yourself some replacements. Now I would like to discuss about the actual heatsink which does most of the cooling on these graphics cards. However, this is where the first problem with the 5700 XT Tai Chi OC Plus starts. You see, to remove the cooler from the graphics cards, you only need to remove 5 screws, but after those 5 screws, there are an extra 2 screws that serve no other purpose than to keep the back of the plastic fan shroud and the lower metal cooling plate attached. And also, to annoy me to no ends. These two screws are hex screws, quite small hex screws, in fact so small hex screws that I couldn't find a screwdriver to fit them and thus this is how much I was able to take the Tai Chi apart. Yes, I know, it is literally taken apart at one end. However, where there is a will, there is a way, and even in this situation we can see most if not all the internal components of the Tai Chi. Starting from the bottom, the memory chips are cooled passively by a metal plate that is attached to the backplate through the PCB. There are also thermal conductive pads in between both the backplate and the frontal metal plate. The heatsink itself makes contact with the graphics core and the VRM of the graphics card. The contact between the core and the heatsink is done through a layer of thermal compound, while the contact between the VRM and the heatsink's fins is done through thick thermal pads. The VRM of the 5700 XT Tai Chi is running in a 10 plus 1 phase configuration, with the main controller being an IR35217 manufactured by International Rectifier. When we talk about the memory voltage, it uses a two phase design and uses the NCP81022 controller manufactured by ON Semiconductor. The memory chips are GTDR6 manufactured by Micron and have the model number D9WCW, which translates to the serial number MT61K256M32JE14A. These chips are specified to run at 1750 MHz by default. The backplate is certainly interesting and good looking, with a multiple layer design and also the now famous COG design that are part of the Tai Chi branding. The backplate itself has a linear brush texture that is also in two colors, gunmetal grey and black. The gold cogs present on the grey part of the backplate are a few millimeters lower than the surface of the backplate and are also brushed in a radial pattern. These cogs also have a secondary function as there is enough space below them for warm air to escape and thus aid with the passive cooling provided by the backplate. The RGB integration is plentiful as always, starting on the side of the graphics card there is a small plastic plate with the Tai Chi emblem and the signature cog pattern applied. The second element that is part of the RGB integration is the center fan which has multiple LEDs on the sides that emit all the light and color towards the semi-transparent impellers. As you know, I am not really a fan of RGB and this graphics 
this card is a perfect example of why that is. The center fan is entirely out of place within the overall design of the graphics cards. If the, all of the fans would have been the same, then the graphics card would have had a better design overall thanks to the contrast between the backplate, the fan shroud and the fans themselves. One of the features that makes the Tai Chi stand out from the rest of the AMD graphics card is found at the back. The 5700 XT Tai Chi has a total of 6 outputs, 2 HDMI outputs and 4 DisplayPort 1.4 outputs. This makes the Tai Chi ideal for a large multi-monitor setup. On the back there are also small cutouts that act like vents for the air inside the heatsink to escape. It is not much but every bit helps with the overall cooling and the movement of airflow. The power delivery is done through two 8-pin power connectors. These have the mounting notch on the top side so keep that in mind when routing your cables. The connectors are also not on the edge of the card thanks to the enlarged fan shroud. This will affect the way you route your PCIe Express cables and their required length. Before we look into the performance of this graphics card, we have a noise sample of the sound generated by the three fans at maximum load. Usually, I would offer you a better sound sample with the fans gradually increasing their speed up to maximum. However, in this case, the AMD Wattman application decided to not play nice with the 5700 XT Tai Chi OC Plus Edition and refused to control the fans in any precise way. Basically, I either had no speed on the fans or full speed on the fans, so this may as well be fixed in a later version of Wetman, but for our review, this is what we have. The sound reached by the ASRock 5700 XT Tai Chi OC Plus is 42 decibels measured at 10 cm away from the system. All three fans were of course spinning at their maximum rated speeds. This is done for all graphics cards tested and reviewed to create an even playing field and of course a better comparison. We start our performance section of this review with GTA 5, a game still enjoying a large user base and constant updates. For me however, this game is useful in particular for benchmarking and testing as it has plenty of scripted missions that can be recreated every single time and thus deliver a more accurate result that can be replicated. Also keep in mind Mind that what you are seeing right now are frame values expressed in the low percentile format. This way we get a better look at the frame dips of the game and also how the graphics cards performs. In this case the 5700 XT Tai Chi reached an average frame rate of 142 frames per second with little to no dips into the frame rate. In fact the low 1% is 103 frames per second while the low 0.1% is 83 frames per second. Overall a good performance with a smooth gameplay. The second game featured in our review is the Witcher 3 Wild Hunt, running at the same resolution as GTA 5, which is 1080p. The rest of the settings are pretty straightforward. We are using the Ultra Graphics preset with Hayworks disabled, and in this game, the graphics card reached an average frame rate of 127 frames per second, with the low 1% at 110, and of course, the low 0.1% at 93 frames per second. I can safely say that the overall gameplay experience is very smooth, and that the 93 frames per second dip is usually when you have multiple light sources and volumetric effects present at the same time. The third game in our review is Metro Exodus, also running at 1080p with the Ultra preset enabled and in DirectX 12 mode. The reason why I do not use the Extreme Graphics preset for the game or the RTX preset is that the differences between this preset and the Ultra preset are too far in between to be worth the performance hit. Nevertheless, in this game, the graphics card reached an average frame rate of 94 frames per second with the low 1% at 82 frames per second and the low 0.1% at 71 frames per second. The last game used in our review is Shadow of the Tomb Raider, running at 1080p at maximum graphical settings in DirectX 12 mode with pure hair turned off and vertical sync disabled. The Astrop RX 5700 XT Tai Chi reached an average frame rate of 121 frames per second with the low 1% at 107 frames per second and the low 0.1% at 99 frames per second. Just like the Witcher 3 Wild Hunt, the gameplay experience is very smooth. The ASRock RX 5700 XT Tai Chi OC Plus is an interesting graphics card with a good cooling system and the performance to match the competition in its price point. The thermals are certainly good, the graphics card reaching a temperature of 77 degrees Celsius with an ambient temperature of 26 degrees Celsius at maximum load. The price of 480 US dollars is high, 
but it is what most if not all AMD Radeon RX 5700 XT graphics cards cost at the present time. Is this graphics card worth the asking price or even the discounted price of 400 US dollars? Well, yes, I can certainly say that because the design is unique and the cooling system is very good. Same goes for the performance. The build quality is excellent and the internal components are pretty high in terms of quality. One of the features of the 5700 XT Tai Chi OC Plus is a 6 display output that will facilitate a multiple screen setup with ease. 